Welcome back into Northeast Current on INTV. My name is Kate Moss and racing his number 35 car at speeds north of 200 miles an hour while only inches apart from dozens of other drivers, Cole Witt is no stranger to taking life's challenges head on while staying cool and focused on the finish line. The season has been most challenging for Cole who is no longer a rookie so that means he got to remove his yellow stripes in the beginning of the season. He has a new team, a new car and a new crew. All the comfort of the past were gone for Cole and he was at the point where self-doubt and external speculation was creeping up, but he defied the doubt. He overcame those moments where the odds were stacked against him, and he stayed focused on his goals. Cole joins us via satellite from Front Row Motorsports in Charlotte, North Carolina, to share his thoughts on the upcoming Talladega race, his new car, his new crew, and what it feels like to be a seasoned driver in a league stacked with some of the biggest names in the sport. Cole, thank you so much for joining us this morning from North Carolina and from Charlotte NASCAR Central. I hope you're having a great day. Can you talk to our viewers about the current NASCAR season? Yeah, so this year has been a, a pretty crazy start to the season. You know, it's still pretty early for us, but, uh, you know, I, I've made the transfer over here to Front Row Motorsports, and uh, it's a new team for me, a uh, new crew to work with, but uh, same sponsor with Speedstick. So awesome to have them back on board with us and uh, just looking forward to getting the season rolling and, and having some fun. So, you know, we've had some good runs here and there. Uh, we're trying, you know, we're not one of the big teams. We're, we're limited on our resources, but at the same time, we take some really big pride in, in outperforming some of those guys when we have the opportunity. So to be a solid top 25 team would be great for us. This is my second year in the Cup Series and um, coming off that rookie season and, and um, you know, just trying to be a solid top 25 car. We've done it uh, plenty of times this year already, kind of um, had some good runs and then had some runs that were going pretty well and had some things happen and, and let them slip from us a little bit. So just need to work on a little bit more consistency in our season and uh, just kind of, you know, grab those top 25s and be a little more solid. You mentioned that you have a new crew and a new car. Tell our viewers a little bit more about that. Yeah, so last year, you know, it's pretty crazy. My first year uh, started out with a team that was a, a smaller team that just expanded to two cars and um, things just didn't work out and the team actually shut down last year. So I made the transfer over to another team who went from two cars to three cars and um, finished the season out with them and, and uh, had a pretty good year, finished 31st in points. Uh, so for one of the smaller teams, we were pretty proud of that. And then uh, Front Row Motorsports was uh, able to partner up with them this year. And, and uh, it's been a really cool experience so far. It's a great team, great guys. Um, again, still a smaller team, but uh, you know, I think that there's some really great potential here. Uh, working with a, a veteran teammate like David Gillen is kind of cool. So there's just a lot of different aspects here. There's a lot for us to take in, building our team. Um, there's, a, there's a lot going on, so it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, we just got to get our feet under us a little bit better, probably just for a little more consistency, but um, we've had some really good speed at times, which is, is at the end of the day is, is always really reassuring. We love your go-getter attitude and your energy. How do you stay in shape and keep physically fit at the same time? Yeah, so, I mean, for me, you know, I mean, as far as getting excited about racing, I mean, that's easy because, um, I mean, who wouldn't want to do their dream, right? So every day, you know, I, I'm very blessed to be able to do what I do, and, um, you know, Speed Stick allows me to do that, and so it's really cool to have them back on board this year. But as far as my fitness, and um, I take my, my fitness very seriously, you know, it's an aspect that maybe some of the other drivers overlook at times, but, um, you know, I like to be able to just kind of step up to the, the times when the pressure's on or, you know, as B6 says, we defy the doubt. So um, being a smaller team, you know, we defy the doubt by stepping up to the plate and running with those big teams. And, um, you know, my, my fitness level allows me to do that. I just try to kind of put myself in uh, uncomfortable positions, you know, uh, just an uncomfortable workout that's really hard taxing and, and just kind of, you know, wears me out and puts me in that same kind of mental st uh, point at, towards the end of a race where, you know, you've been in a car for, you know, four hours and it's 120 degrees and it's, it's a one position. So it gets really uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, I do that through a lot of CrossFit type workouts or, um, you know, something very similar. You have a sweepstake offer for our viewers. Why don't you tell us about that? So Speed Six is doing an awesome opportunity for the fans to really get involved with kind of uh, the same things that we do. So uh, the fans have an opportunity to uh, enter the sweepstakes and get uh, to come out to one of the races and be right on pit road and be part of the crew and, and kind of see the whole weekend from behind the scenes exactly what we go through. So it's pretty cool. And the way that they can do that is they can follow Speed Stick on Twitter, follow me on Twitter as well, and then uh, use uh, a hashtag uh, Speed Stick Sweeps. And, um, and then they can do any moment where they're defying the doubt in their own life, kind of whether it be at work, uh, a hobby, 
or just any moment that's a kind of maybe a high pressure, high intense situation or something, and uh, show that show us how they defy the doubt. And uh, Speed Stick will pick a winner to join us for a race. Well, I'm sure your friends and your family are extremely supportive of your career. So talk to us a little bit more about your friends and your family. Yeah, so I mean, obviously I wouldn't even be where I was at without, um, you know, family getting me started in racing. My mom and dad have definitely been uh, huge supporters of all of my racing and, and uh, my brother and, and uh, friends and family kind of have always just, just known me as, as myself and, um, you know, just kind of this is what I do for a job. So um, they know I take it serious and it, every, I'm actually from California, so it's, it's a long journey for me to be living in North Carolina, but it's been kind of my whole life. Uh, journey to get here so it's it's definitely cool to live the dream and um, you know have people like Speedstick who support me who uh, kind of believe in the same things I do and it's just been a lot of fun so uh, definitely family's huge supporters and uh, definitely been uh, pretty cool I'll actually have mom and dad out at uh, upcoming races and it's always fun to see them out there. Cole, thanks again for being with us here on Northeast Current and taking time out of your schedule this morning and thank you as well for watching from home my name is Kate Moss and we'll be right back.